contracts again and today guys I'm here to do another anime review and my review is to Fate, Khalid, Prisma, Lina, Ilya, Free, Re, Episode 8 guys. So let's get into it. So guys, in this episode of Fate, Khalid, we finally got the revision of the big goal of the main enemy of this season, the Ironsworth family. Now the goal of the Irons was something, it's actually a very noble goal. It's a very noble goal. And that goal and that goal is to save the world. They're planning to save their world. Now some of you wait, if the main if the main enemy, why is their goal to save the world? Because I know that some of you here are thinking about the cliche evil feelings. I know some of you are thinking that. Um, I'll just tell you, anime hardly does that, like, they've still got that cliche, evil villain cliche for doing an anime, but when it comes to Fate series, how no, to the core, a lot of their villains they have are fucking diverse, and very, very likeable, and very, and it makes you very interested in the villain, and why you sometimes get that feeling, you wish the villain to win. Or you'd be alright with villain winning because, in a way, they make it somewhat more exciting. Now, why, why, why are they, what they do now? For what they've been doing, some of you might be thinking, okay, if they're gonna save the world, why are they doing all these things where they classify as evil? Because magic, and when it comes to magic. One permanent thing and one powerful core item, a key item to use with magic is ex permanent exchange. In other words, when you need magic, you should need exchange something. Mana, don't forget mana. Mana is a magical source, but how do you use that mana? Mana does disappear. In other words, you exchange that mana to use a specific element or a specific power. So any form of magic you're using, you need to do some form of a sacrifice. You need to do some form of permanent exchange. And there's actually a hint what permanent exchange could do in in this episode is that there's a lot of magic spell that surprisingly it can be used effectively. It become it can become very powerful. And the spell they use is like a parallel di like exchange of power, sort of exchange ability, because they make sure you use they change the surroundings. Pretty much, if you're in a specific location, you can be transported. You can be forcibly transported into another location. It's not like, it's not teleportation, guys. It's not teleportation because teleportation or going through a portal, it's a bit different because you actually travel there. But what comes to this is that you get forcibly move to that scenario without any form of teleportation or any form of portal to get you there. You're pr I mean, in other words, that location got replaced, that location got replaced with another location, it means they switch places, the locations themselves switch places. So, there, that's how much, uh, and you might feel like, oh, that does sound freaking powerful. Yes and no, because it's a basic spell. And, like I said, depending on how powerful you are, depending on how you can use it. And that's what I mean. It's a permanent exchange. You exchange the location where the location is at. So, and like I said, the main goal is for what the enemy is doing is to save the world. Now, we, if you have not watched the rest of Fake Clear, especially third season, especially the third season, Fake Clear, Lana, Prisma, Ella, Turi, Hezra, uh, we find out that Miyu is the Holy Grail. And in the eyes of a family mod, they believe that if they sacrifice the Holy Grail, they will save the world. Because for how powerful the rumors about the Holy Grail is, that they think if they are able to sacrifice the Holy Grail, like use that as a permanent exchange, they will save the world. In other words, sacrificing Miyu. And that's the problem. And that's because of what Ilya is doing. In a way, Ilya is actually being... 
Ellie and her friends are being the villains. Unconsciously, of course, but they're technically the villains of this world. Miu, like, Ilya, Koro, uh, Berserk, and Gilgamesh, Luvia, and Tosika, they are the villains of their world because they're causing, they're uh, trying to stop on this from happening. They tried to rescue Miu, who was in the eyes of the family and majority of the world, I take it, believe is the one that can save their world from its destruction because the mana that's in that world is drying up. The mana in that world is drying up, so it's di it means everything in that world is dying. The world itself is dying. So like I said, they, apply, they, they believe the Holy Grail is the item or the core that brings them back to well, save the world. Now, there's are two possible things that's going to happen. That there is a second way to save the world. Or that we're going to have a tragic scenario where Miyu actually dies. Or Ilya dies. Because we already know Ilya is also Holy Grail. But possibly as I Ilya and Koro split up. Because don't forget, Koro, if you have not watched season 2 of Fake Khalid, Koro, don't forget, is not... A full entity. She's actually part of Ilya. They're both. They're two people of the same person. Two parts of the same coin, you could say. So Cora is the dark side of Ilya, and Ilya, of course, is the light side of herself. Or pretty much, because that means they're not fully compatible. But like, that means the Holy Grail form of Ilya, which is of course the dark side of Ilya, which of course Cora. Now, possibility that. Main body Ilya, Ilya herself could be the Holy Grail, but it again, it can be Coral. But they can both be the Holy Grail, which we go for. I still don't know. Like we already know that magical capability is harvest. Ilya's magical capability is harvest thanks to Coral leaving her body, because like, she's not as powerful she was in season one. So in season two, she was weaker and of course still the same level as she was in season two, and. So, but of course, with the power up she got, we know she can still be powerful. And by training, she can get more powerful. Now, what we get to know. Now, that means Koro, but that means Koro ha should be hardened, right? Wrong. Even though Ilya herself is hardened, don't forget this is supposed to mean what Ilya's power would have been if she was not the Holy Grail. From the Fate Stay Night franchise. This will be Ilya's true power. This will be Ilya's true magical output. When Koro, she's actually the Holy Grail. She's the person I say Ilya from Fate Stay Night and Fate Zero as well. Um, this is the personality she actually has. So Koro is, you could say, the uh, Holy Grail Ilya. So we already know that if they're going to use another Holy Grail, the more likely option is Korra, because Korra is the most magical output, not just from the Holy Grail side of her, but also from the Archer card in within her. Because that she has more magical capability than maybe Niyu or Ilya have. So if they are going to hold a Gr if there is going to be a tragic scenario, those those two like Ilya, Koro, or Miu will be the main sacrifice. And yes. Tragic. They die. We don't know. We don't know what's going to fully happen. What's going to, how they're going to find another source to save the world. Because, in a way, this part is cliche. This part is cliche in a lost series. Is that once they find that someone's getting used as a sacrifice to save the world or save someone's life, you end up finding out there is another way you can pull it off. All that ends up happening. Yeah, it's quite a cliche thing that happens in anime in any form of series. But those are the, those two options I said. There's another way or that there is a tragic sacrifice that's gonna happen. Which is gonna be the reason behind it. So um which is a somewhat cliche but not too much cliche. But yeah. Now how it led up to now we mostly find all about this near the end of the episode. The majority of this episode I guess again was like like ninety percent of this episode was still like how the other two episodes were. Ilya 
pretty much goofing around, slice of life moments, again, surprisingly, but with a bit of danger there, here and there. But Ilya is still an adult. Now, we find out, which we found out last episode as well, but only a hint of it, but I mean, for this episode, we've got four instead that if you end up hitting the main core or like this main like crest that's on the of the bodies that have got transferred into stuffed animals um if by hitting it very much hitting the body you'd be uh, pretty much you bring them back to their senses you're able to switch their body, mind from the stuff animal back to their body so and it's been proven because Ilya done that and then she's back to normal she's back in her body now we got now and now and then pretty much a little battle was going on between Ilya and female girl going or female fucking girl still fucking badass as usual but still I gotta say their logic as well is somewhat twisted now we also got left off with a question a question what Ilya should do because she now knows like female Gilgamesh and actually Gilgamesh himself told Koro and Berserk what the eyes were doing because we already knew being a horror spirit Gilgamesh does get any information of the world. He does gain information of the world by transporting that he gains all the information about the world he's in. And he told what the Iron World is planning to do. Uh, he, so he told Berserk and Korra what they're planning to do. But what female Gilgamesh told Ilya is that make a choice. You're pretty much saying what you're planning to do, Ilya. You're gonna save Korra? Are you gonna, sa are you gonna save Mew? Or save the world. That's the question we got saying. Got given. Are you gonna save one person, or are you gonna save the world? In other words, are you gonna sacrifice the entire world for one person, or are you gonna sacrifice one person to save the entire world? And I'm actually gonna leave off the rest of the talk for that. For that, because I'm gonna leave off this video for what. This question I'm gonna want you guys to answer. If you're in a drastic situation where someone is getting you, uh, someone dear to you is getting you for a sacrifice to save the entire world, but you really want to save them, here's a question for you. Here's the question I want you guys to answer for yourself. And it's pretty much what I said in this, ep in this video. The question is again, if you're in, in, if you're in that situation, what would you do? Would you save the person? Would you say we let the person die to save the entire world, or you have the entire world die to save that one person? Leave in the comments down below. How would you answer that question? My first opinion: If we allow this option, if we allow this option, I will try to do both. I will try to choose both, which again is another cliche that does happen in anime. They do have the option to choose both to save. The person they love and to save the world, but there have been cases and they that does not happen. So if it does, there was no way you can save both. What would you do? In my personal opinion, in my personal opinion, I know this is gonna sound fucking twisted and maybe not that great to majority of you, but in a way it makes logical sense because. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna explain. If I was in that situation, I would choose to sacrifice the entire world to save my friends or my loved ones. Now that means I would try to protect them. And if there's only one person, but that doesn't get we have more than one person we like, we have more than one person we care for. That means I will again will try to defend those people. But if you talk about people I don't know, like people I have no idea who I I don't know in real life then I can't deny I'll be willing to sacrifice those people because I first of all I have no idea who those people are literally and because as they're strangers you don't know them and in a way you're not just saving good people but you're thinking you're saving bad people as well because again don't forget Every world has a bad, always have bad people, unfortunately. And if you're gonna plan to save someone, you need to get you have to save a bad person as well. And that's the big problem is that that's why, in my personal opinion, if I'm gonna save people, 
I'm trying to save the good. I'm trying to save the fucking good people. But the problem with strangers, you have no idea who are the good or bad people. That's why if you're gonna save stuff, go to save the people you deeply care for. Of course, if you're in that scenario in front of you, you're in front of tons of people in front of you, then there's a lot of different options. I will try to save the world. But if you're by yourself, literally, if you're by yourself, or with people you care about around you, then you have that more uh, to think about saving the people you care about than saving the world. But in my, my first choice, but least again, I would say my first choice, if I get chance to often, is choose both. Choose both, but my second option, if I cannot choose both, I'll save my friends and family and loved ones. I'll choose the person I care for to, from the world. So, so that means the one I will never choose is that I will not sacrifice a person I deeply care for. Or save one person to, um, sacrifice one person to save the world. I will not choose that option. I will never choose that option. Sacrifice one person to save the world. I will never choose that option because in a way, don't forget, that one person is still part of the world. Even though physically you're saving the world, yet again, mentally you're not saving because you're, you're taking someone from this world. You're still taking someone from this world. So in a way, you're still destroying a bit of this world. So that's why I feel that option is meaningless because in a way, you are still sacrificing. You're still destroying a bit of the world because you're sacrificing. Uh, not in this situation, you're sacrificing that and it's actually something that could help to protect the world from being destruction. Which again, is the Holy Grail. The Holy Grail is the main source. It's pretty much, you could say, the magical core of the world. And if by destroying the core, you're pretty much destroying the world at the same time. You can, if you think about it. So, yeah. And that means the mana thing. What if, what, what's the best up to some bring up mana in this world? The fucking Holy Grail. So... I also feel like if you're gonna sacrifice someone, if you're gonna do anything, I say sacrifice the world, and in a way, the Holy Grail can use its power to reincarnate the world. It sounds twisted, but yet again, some twisted things are more logical than the main way of thinking. Like I said, if there is an option to save, but save both, I will choose both. But if I have to recreate, like recreate the world, to save that one person, I think best way to recreate because in the process you have more chance of bringing had more life than you do this than sacrifice this one person. Because if again, if you create the world, it means you can bring people back to life, which does sound crisp to me. Anyway, I'm just leaving this question off to you guys. If you're in that situation scenario think about think about both options again if you're in this scenario you, you have to choose what you have to save what per by saving by sacrificing one person you save the entire world or by saving this one person you sacrifice the entire world so think about this question leave the comments down below think about both scenarios that if you can choose both would you choose both or if you can't choose both Choose the more likely one you choose, and like I said, I'll choose both. And yet again, if I cannot choose both, I will save the person I deeply care about. I'll save the one person, and that's it. Now, animation quality decent. I don't think there was much anything to say because it's pretty much decent, not that big of a deal, but yeah, that's it really. And anyway, guys, that's my anime review to Fate Khalid. Like you know, Prisma in the Earth 3 Re Episode 8, guys. Hope you guys like it. Come on, chat fans today. If you guys on the same channel, comment down below. My address there, and yeah. Hope you guys like it. Comment, subscribe, and I see you guys later. Bye, guys.